Well, let's see what's the see nine. Well, it's been over three years since I've had sex. I just realized, and obviously I'm not bothered because I didn't even realize, but um, last person I was with was um, really with was someone I in my area that I liked, but he was in the closet, so it wasn't going to happen. Um, and before that, I'd been seeing someone um, more of a casual relationship um, that I felt were more friends with benefits, but um, that didn't go well. Uh, the person was very deceptive um, and it really, you know, was toxic. So the last couple of people I was involved with didn't go so well. And I went to Mardi Gras um, just after seeing this guy for the last time. I didn't really hook up with anyone, kind of a little bit one guy that I'd sort of been seeing throughout the weekend at different events, but not really. I didn't do anything and I really wasn't bothered by it. I mean, I sort of thought, wow, you went to Mardi Gras and didn't hook up with anyone. Um, I really wasn't bothered by it because a lot of my sexual experiences had been very negative and the last couple, um, like the guy who was in the closet was just really, made me really sad because I think it could have been a really good relationship if he could get out of that, you know, prison he had himself in. Um, and like that, I mentioned the person before that was just really horrible to me. Um, I thought they were my friend and they just lied to me about a bunch of stuff and they were absolutely vicious when things didn't go their way. Um, and they eventually end up in a relationship with someone else and then they had no use for me. So that's been my sort of common experience um, on the ga um, on, on the scene with um, men is usually they just use you for sex and that's not saying anything about myself. Um, I'm no great prize but everyone this is all about the D. This is all about um, just the sex. It's really you're really not a person to them. You really have no value as a human or a person or a personality. You're really just something to use to validate themselves or you know um it's it's just i'm i'm really okay with it being out of my life i feel this, all this anxiety and stress um that i used to feel from trying to um be what i thought people wanted or um to compete with these other guys which i also always did really well because i was very confident and i was never afraid to approach anyone a lot of guys even though they were hotter and all that, they, they still couldn't sort of approach people. I never had that problem. I really, often did really well just because I had no fear and, and had a lot of confidence. But um, I was always questioning myself. And, and when things went wrong, I always looked internally. I never, a lot of people, they just blame everyone else. Like, oh, it's that person's fault, you know, and they never look at themselves. I was always internalizing it, looking at myself. And um, just a lot of stress, just the whole scene and just the whole nature of, of this sexuality and, and sex on that scene was just just stressful and negative and I'm just really ha I'm really fine that I don't have it in my life anymore I feel really relaxed I'm quite happy to be celibate I'd thought of doing it a couple of times but I didn't have the I was too insecure I always ended up needing to sort of be with someone or have someone's attention or something I never really was able to stay with it but thanks to the you know what I didn't have a choice um, I went to Mardi Gras and a week or so later the whole world was locked down and I didn't really have a choice but I wasn't bothered and then afterwards the first thing people did was they were messaging me because they were all hooking up again and I'm like just because we're allowed out doesn't mean that's safe to do and I, I hadn't I had no interest in doing that and I still don't and that's sort of part of the reason but that was why I stopped but having it like I said just a life free of you know that sort of extra complication and toxicity, I'm, I'm, I'm really fine. I feel really happy with myself and comfortable with myself. I feel I can just be myself. And I'm not trying to be something else because I was trying to live up to whatever, all the, all the stresses and expectations for that whole sort of scene. And the whole scene is defined by sex. Um, and also, once you get past a certain age, unless you are a daddy or a sugar daddy, um, just naturally you fit into one of those categories, um, you really have no value. You, uh, you have no worth, no one is interested in you, um, everyone's just chasing after something younger um, and you realize that you really just were valued for your body and, and, and your sexuality and your youth and no one was really interested in who you were as a person or your, your heart or your soul or any of those things and it's just really, it's just crushing um, and I'm just really okay to have it all out of my life. I have no interest in going back onto the scene. I had no interest in going to Mardi Gras. I don't miss any of it 
because it was really mostly a toxic experience that I felt like I had to be there um, and it was FOMO and just not wanting to sort of be on my own and now even though I had gone through long periods of being on my own once I sort of got connected with groups and felt a part, part of that I felt like I sort of you know didn't want to go back to being alone and it's like I'm really okay with being alone I'm happy I like myself and I like the things I'm doing now I'm enjoying the things that I sort of was putting on hold and hiding or not enjoying because I was sort of worrying about what other people thought or sort of what a partner would think or how that would fit with them now I'm just doing what I want and I'm really enjoying it and relaxed and I don't think I'm going to be bothered if this goes on for another year or two or if I meet someone nice I have a relationship and it happens naturally fine if not I'm fine um yeah but I just felt like I had to mark it with a video but I'm going to go feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think thanks bye